Let's take things up a notch and install software from the command line using apt. The terminal might seem intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's incredibly powerful and efficient. Plus, it gives you more control over what's going on behind the scenes. If you want to learn more terminal commands, I have another video where I show the 10 basic commands that you need to learn when using Linux Mint to facilitate everyday use. If you're interested, I'm going to put a link in the description, so make sure to check it out. But for now, let's go ahead and open the terminal. Just press Ctrl Alt T. Once it's open, you'll be ready to start typing commands. Before installing any software, it's always a good idea to update your system to make sure you're getting the latest versions and security patches. To do that, we use two simple commands. First, let's type sudo apt update and press enter. It will ask you for your password and press enter. After that, once that's done, run sudo apt upgrade, press enter, press Y and press enter. It might take a while depending how many packages you need to upgrade and how good your internet speed is. Now we're ready to install new software. You can use this command to install any of the software, but I'm just gonna show it to you on an example of installing GIMP, the powerful open source image editor we've talked about earlier. To install it via the command line, all we need is an apt install command followed by the name of the software. So we'll type sudo apt install GIMP and hit enter. It will ask you for your password. As you can see, APT will check the repositories to see if GIMP is available. Since this is a standalone package, it's safe to proceed, so type Y and confirm. Once you press enter, APT will begin downloading and installing GIMP. The whole process should only take a few moments depending on your internet speed. Now that it's installed, you can verify it by typing GIMP into the terminal and pressing enter. There we go, GIMP is up and running, you can now use it just like any other app. But it was installed directly from the command line. Simple, right? 